The woman that to this day completes my life. Most of you don't know it, but Therese was always a jock. In the video, we start out with her first love in sports, which was softball, where she played semi-pro in Central Park, and suffice to say, after her accident, she never stopped. We will take you on her journey where she started out in the pool and on to archery and track and field. Then came her passion sport to this day, table tennis, where she started out slow with some international showings, but came out ranked number 10 in her class with her first Paralympic game in London. And from there on, she was off and rolling. In 1986, four gold and a world championship title in Brisbane, Australia, to two gold in, in 1988 at the Paralympics in Seoul, Korea, a bronze in 90 in Holland at the Worlds, then in 92, up to the Paralympics in Barcelona, where she won bronze. The World Championships in Paris, 94, where she won bronze. And 96 in Atlanta, where she won bronze. In 2000, she ended her career where she started her run in Australia. Along the way, and to this day, that you will see, she's creating future stars, umpiring, and running the Broward Table Tennis Club, our national club of excellence. I give you credit.
think Marty had the hard part tonight. But um, first, I'd like to thank USATT for giving me the honor to be in the class of 2013 Table Tennis Hall of Fame, along with Yvonne and Todd and all the others that came before us. Wow. Watching the video and reliving the feelings and emotions is as humbling tonight as it was back then. The feeling of coming out of that tunnel, opening and closing ceremonies, took my breath away. The emotions that flows through my body when I was on the podium with my country's flag flying and the national anthem playing. But my journey that you just saw started way before I hit my first ball. My table tennis career started when the big guy upstairs sat down to put my journey in motion. And I thank him tonight and every day in my life for not only including all the incredible people that have come into my life, but adding this wonderful sport in it. As he sent me on my path, my mom took over. And as she patched my cuts and bruises from my softball days, she taught me that I could do anything in my life if I wanted it bad enough. And when table tennis became my passion, I wanted it bad enough to be the best. And as she sits on the cloud right now with the big guy watching me tonight, I thank her for all the love and support and everything she instilled in me. After my accident, my best friend Terry Bernetto pushed me every day to achieve everything I could, and I thank her. Along my table tennis journey, I met a lot of incredible people, some of which are here tonight. And they pushed me, they inspired me, and have been there for me. And I need to mention some of them. I'm sure I'll forget a lot. Uh, I thank all my friends over the years that traveled to regionals and national tournaments, and they sat through my wins and losses. I think they all came because we usually took a trip afterwards, you know, so they figured they'd tag along. But uh, Joe Newgarden, who is not only like family to Marty and myself, but he became one of my biggest supporters over the years. Uh, and to this day, he still supports the kids that we coach and the club that we run. And I can't thank him enough for everything he gave, he still gives to the sport and to a lot of people out there right now in their clubs. My teammates, as you saw, Jennifer Johnson, Jackie DiLorenzo, and Ruth Rosenbaum for making every trip unforgettable in more ways than one can imagine. And all, all the others that were part of the teams that we traveled throughout my career, especially at the end of the video, you saw the one that inspired me and to this day inspires every physically challenged athlete in this sport. And he's sitting with my mom and that big guy up there right now, Mike Dempsey. He gave everybody on our team inspiration. And uh, I can't thank him enough for being a friend of mine. A great big hug goes out to all my students right now. They enrich my life now and make me proud to be part of their lives. They allow me to give back and along with Marty by my side, create champions. And of course, I can't forget my dear friend and partner in the Broward Table Tennis, Carlos Zeller, who I left back in Florida to take care of the club. I told him he couldn't come. It was, it was my, tur my turn to take a vacation. Uh, it's funny because his wife calls him my day husband. And last but not least, uh, before I get to that, there's a lot of people out here um, I always felt very bad. I became the first female international umpire for the United States. And um, Kathy Reed was 
a, a national umpire for years and years, and uh, I really looked up to her. And for whatever reason, I kind of got through the test a little bit before her, and I think she should have been. But uh, in my umpiring days, uh, a lot of the umpires, YC Lee, um, God, my mind goes blank. Uh, my doubles partner at a lot of uh, trials. Uh, it was usually ten men and me that that did a lot of international uh, and national uh, umpiring, and I thank them for incredible times and a lot of others that are out there uh, that right now I can't see since I have my reading glasses on. But I do want to thank them in my career. But as I said before, last but not least is the piece de resistance in my life. And that is my hero, Marty. Uh, everybody's had a lot of coaches throughout their career that has catapulted them to, to greatness. I was fortunate enough to just have one. And um, he is the most incredible thing in my life. He not only became my coach, who every day was training made me laugh and sometimes cry. <laughs> but um, along the way, with all of that, he made me world's champion, Paralympic gold medalist. There was a lot of tournaments that were not in the film, but uh, I didn't want to bore you all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but most of all, Marty is, for me, the last person I see before I close my eyes at night, and the first person I see when I open my eyes each morning. He's the love of my life, and the person that made this night a reality for me. To my hero, Thank you. The bottom of my heart. When Marty got inducted, um, he sang to me. Uh, I don't have a song to sing to him. <laughs> and I'm really sorry about that. I did record a song, but it, it wasn't really that much. <laughs> but, um, like I said, he completes my life as I complete his. I want to end with a big thank you to all of you that came tonight to share a little bit of Todd's life in, in this sport, my life, and Yvonne will be coming up next. And I just want everybody to enjoy the rest of the night in Las Vegas. <coughs> And everybody that is playing tomorrow or the rest of this weekend, enjoy the passion sport of my life, table tennis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.